Right guys, we did not go ham on some potential zero out of ten worse than Dragon Ball Evolution. What's it? But yeah, <laughs> joking about that part. But seriously, guys, what's good, y'all? And welcome to my review of the of the live action Death Note tra of the live action Death Note movie from Netflix. Yes, and also excuse. And by the way, guys, the Dark Souls gameplay plenty as I've never played Dark Souls game in my life. So if I look like shit. That's why, because I don't know how to play Dark Souls. I just picked this because it's like, fuck it, well, you for play gameplay. I was like, oh, fuck it, Dark Souls. We'll use that. <laughs> but seriously, guys, okay, so let's talk about this movie. And the first of all, I have to say. <laughs> Greatness. This movie was fucking phenomenal. Uh, I honestly think I'd like this as much as the anime, for different reasons, of course. Uh, but let's talk about it. So, yeah. so the story of the of the Netflix dot Death Note live action movie is a lot like the is the exact same as the anime. Like the Alchemir this time, or in this case, like Turner finds the Death Note at school. He uses it. He tests it out on one person. This in 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 um I'm gonna and I'm gonna uh, have there's gonna be mild spoilers in this throughout this video, but they're not gonna be like but there are like little uh, changes I noticed from you know that the director made or the people made that was made. Movie made a difference, uh, from the anime slash manga of, you know, Death Note, so, yeah, I'm, so, I'm, so if you don't want to know, like, what little changes are they made to the original story, uh, from the anime and the manga, you know, skip ahead, or whatever, but yeah, um, so yeah, his last, so yeah, they changed his last name to, like, Turner in this one, and he, you know, he finds the Death Note, um, and he tests it out, and this time in the original anime, uh, slash manga, you know, he, you know, tested it out on a hostage situation when he saw it on the news. He was just like, no, Tess, let's use this. Uh, but while well, you still get that hostage situation in this movie, but that's like, but that's like his, um, third person he kills instead of his first one he was testing out. In this movie, he kills the, he kills a bully, uh, via decapitation, um, that, you know, mess with that, you know, uh, he just kills him, you know, just to test out him, plus he was an asshole to him and Mia. And now, let's, so yeah, that's, those, the plot is pretty much the exact same as the anime and the manga. So if you've know the, so if you've seen the anime or read the manga, it's the plot's pretty much the exact same. Now, let's get on to the interesting part, the characters. So, we have, the cast includes, we have R Willem Dafoe as Ryuk, which, oh my god, best part of the movie. Has now. I know he almost want Vince to redub the anime, have the same character, but just change the voice editor for Ryuk to Willem Dafoe because he is Ryuk. Like oh, that's perfect. That was oh, greatness, greatness. I'm surprised the anime didn't do this first when they dubbed it. Uh, we have Keith uh, Stanfield as L. Also, fantastic job with L. And let's actually talk about L for a second. In now, uh, I love her. now. He definitely. Acts like L. He has the same mannerisms as L. Walks, talks the same way as L. At least from what I remember of watching the anime dubbed. I haven't actually. I've never listened to the Japanese. I've definitely so I can't comment on like how it compares to the Japanese audio, but I can definitely say that remind, that definitely reminds me a lot of the anime or the English dub of the anime, which the dub for Death Note oh, greatest. And if you've never seen Death Note, watch that anime. You can watch it on Netflix. <laughs> But seriously, I love, you know, one change that they did make to Light's character, now, granted, uh, I mean, yeah, Light's character, which, I'm not sure if this was like this in the, um, uh, anime, don't, so don't quote me a uh, comment below in the comments below if I'm right or wrong, but they definitely made, uh, Light in this, ep in this, mo in this movie, a lot more, I guess, um, I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for, but a lot more, I guess, jittery, or I guess not, not as, you know, as, as, you know, composed, and, you know, as composed he was in the anime, because, you know, Light never, he never really ever lost his cool in the anime, at least from what I remember. He was always on track, he was always, uh, he was always ahead of L, or Light got, they were always, you know, wanted, they were always, like, neck and neck. Light's always, Light's always drifting with L's next movie is, Light's trying, you know, L's doing the exact same thing in the anime. In the, in this movie, um, they changed it up to where L is a lot more, I guess, I wouldn't say, I can't, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but a lot more jittery by that, I mean, if stuff doesn't go his way, he loses his shit, like, he, like, um, he, like, loses his shit, he starts, like, you know, like, fucking with shit around, if shit doesn't go exactly as he planned, so that's one difference, um, or I guess major difference I noticed from the anime that the movie made from the anime, slash manga. So, and, of course, so yeah, he also, but he did a fantastic job, he definitely, you know, he definitely did a great job as L. And we also have, um, Jessica McLeod, I didn't say pronounce the name, uh, or not her, um, wait, hold on, let me find the rest of the cast. Uh, come on, who played Mia? 
Okay, Megan, um, Quali Quality? I uh, know you pronounce her name. She plays me, and also, I have to say, I prefer this Mia over the original anime from the anime slash manga of Mia, because if you guys seen the anime of Death Note, you know that Mia was annoying and pretty much useless. She was always getting in Light's way. Uh, she was always getting in Light's way, which brings me to my name, which in this anime, she is definitely a lot more, uh, I would say a lot more aggressive than she was in the anime, but, you know, in the anime, Mia was always like, Oh, Al, I mean, oh, Light, oh, Light, oh, please, Al, let me have your baby. Like, she only cared about pleasing Al, I mean, Light, I can't get really confused. She always cared about them and would always get in his way. The only time I think she was ever useful and we all, we were all like, Gave Mia some props was probably in the end when she got kidnapped by L and then she was getting tortured and she wouldn't like you know snitch she wouldn't like sell out L at lie at all she was like you know oh would just no she would stay low until she, like she wouldn't like you know no uh yeah you know, uh tell him like hey light is Kira she, that's like the one time they she was like that and this one Mia's definitely a lot more aggressive she's always like you know uh, taking a stand she doesn't just you know a lot, she's not more she's not just, uh. She's a lot more aggressive, I guess, you know, uh, I guess I can say, I can't think of another word other than aggressive than, than she was in the anime and the manga, at least, yeah. So yeah, I like, so that's a nice change that they made to me and making her a lot more, you know, I guess, pleasing to look at, she's not annoying, she's not useless, she actually does report, and there's some pretty uh, interesting things throughout this anime, and throughout this movie, I should say, that I like. So I like how they changed up her character in, from the anime and the manga. Now we also have, of course, uh, Nat Wolf, I believe I say his name, that plays Light Turn. Light in this ad in this movie is a lot different from, you know, like Yagami. Light Yagami, you know, in the anime, was a very smart individual. He never needed to study, he was always bored in classes, you know, he was always so smart. And this movie he is like that as well, um, where he's a very smart kid. I don't think he might I don't think he's as smart as the original L was. Uh like I keep saying L. Uh, as smart as the, as L Yagami. I mean, Light Yagami, Jesus Christ, I keep getting those names confused, as Light Yagami from the anime, although, that could just mean, because there's never really a moment where we could really see, you know, Light Turner's intelligence go in a full force like it was in the anime, with, you know, Light would always have these, like, intri intricate plans, like, you know, like, that time he had to put the paper in the watch, he, like, like forgot the death note so he wouldn't know who he was, you know, all those intricate stuff Light would do in the anime. Which is not, and speaking of the death of itself, there's actually a couple changes they actually made to it, uh, where, in the anime, you know if you touch the pe you know if you touch the piece of the paper from the death note, you could see the Shinigami that was, you know, the holder of the note, like, it's like when Mia touched Light's death book, he could see Ryu, as well as, like, when she touched Mia's death note, she could see her Shinigami. It's not like in this movie where, in this movie, no matter how much time you you still can't see Ryu, or at least it looks like that way she can't see Ryu. And the same thing is, it looks like in the death in this movie that the death note doesn't automatically, you know, set to having the person die of a heart attack. At least that's what I'm guessing from it. It doesn't automatically say like, hey, if you don't write in a specific, you know, um, cause of death, it's gonna be a heart attack. It doesn't look right away. So you gotta. So it looks like in this movie you have to actually have to put a, you know, cause of death for the person to die. It doesn't just, you know, set to it. You guys say, um, fucking, I don't know. Um, I can't think of a name. Um, uh, like. Uh, Yagami, he like Yagami. He doesn't die from a heart attack. He doesn't have to. He doesn't immediately die. He doesn't die from a heart attack. Like he, like it would usually happen every after forty seconds. It would die high in the end. In the in this movie, it doesn't happen that way. So it looks like you actually have to write down cause of death. That's like the only other change I noticed from the um anime. But yeah, uh, like this movie, he is definitely a lot different. Uh, he's still smart, but he's definitely not as you know careful or you know thinks ahead as much as like. I, uh, Yagami did. Like Yagami, you know, he was always on top of things. You know, he was always prepared for a fight. Always ready. This, like, like Turner, but doesn't, it looks like half the time he doesn't know what he's doing, because he's, remember, he's just a kid. So he wouldn't know how to re really wield with this power, which I guess, I kind of like that, that they made it a little bit more realistic, I guess, in a way, but at the same time, I mean, I'm not going to say, I mean, I still prefer the original Light Yagami, because, well, it's like Yagami that dude was, we all love Light. <laughs> but Light Turner isn't bad on his own. And the, and also her and his father also in this movie is also uh, a police uh, police officer, which he the guy that played him also did a fantastic job. Um, and that's pretty much the rest of the main cast. Overall, I fucking love this movie. I like all of us. I didn't have high expectations for it. I was expecting the movie to be shit, but it's at least we can all agree 
Uh, even now, I know a lot of people didn't like me, judging from my the YouTubers I follow or I'm subscribed to. They all didn't. There was like not anyone that liked it except from James. He posted on Twitter like, "Oh yeah, the movie's okay," as like a reimagining of it, which it is. This movie is a reimagining of Death Note. If you were expecting this to be like the anime, then you're probably gonna then you're gonna hate this movie. But if you expect me to be like a retelling and a reimagining of the original concept of the Death Note, like Edge of Tomorrow was, where they kind of you know took the concept of all you need is kill. And you'll swap that, and you'll change it up a bit, and that, and that's what turns it into tomorrow. We and look how it's tomorrow turned out. It turns out great. It's a fantastic movie, and it's also getting a sequel. Apparently, it's also getting a sequel, which I'm looking forward to seeing that. It's probably gonna be completely distant from the manga at that point. But you know, I'm still gonna watch it. I'm probably still gonna love it. But yeah, guys, um, if you want the, but if you want the anime live action, go watch the Japanese. You know, definitely. I thought those movies are really good, which I should probably go watch. Check out because I've actually never seen them. But yeah, guys, I love this movie as much as I do for as, as much as I love the anime for different for different reasons. Of course, I love we all love the anime for you know um, the the cat and, mouse, the cat and mouse game between Light Yagami and L. You know the music, how ridiculous that anime got with you know I'll take a potato chip and eat it. You know the the Latin tracks, the ridiculous the ridiculous camera angles we've seen that show. We all loved it, and I love this movie for different reasons. I love this movie for the characters. And the story, the music, I really love this movie. But yeah, but yeah guys, a 9.5 is my final verdict. I hope hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.